What up, what up, though? What up, though? This your boy back at it. Having a little fun outside. Yo, we have a vintage guest denim jacket. And honestly, I probably should just keep this the way it is because this is slick. This is nice. This is timeless. A 90s vintage guest jacket always, always rocks. But what fun is keeping everything the same? Again, it's all a blank canvas. So let's get some bleach, maybe some dye, and let's see. Okay. And again, we have the vintage guest jacket. And for this one, I think what I want to do is that I'm going to dumb down the blue on the top half. And so, again, we did two, one part bleach to two parts water. I already filled it up. I don't need to see all that, but just remember, two parts water. I'm sorry, two parts water to one part bleach. The more bleach you add, the more whiter it gets. Or if you don't want to add more bleach, it just means it takes it longer to sit in there and soak for all the color to dissipate and be removed. So let's go ahead and get to putting it in there. Let's see what we got. And I keep a stick, so I basically don't have to worry about getting bleach on my hands all the time. And mind you, when you do this stuff, you know, you always wear clothes that you don't care about. Okay, we've let this boy soak for about a good 40 minutes. So let's see what we got. Do this carefully so I don't get water everywhere. And voila! Sweet. Perfect. I can dig it. Vintage guest jacket overhaul. Yes, this came out perfect. All right. Now the final outcome. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are here. This is the guest jacket and it came out all right. I'm going to tell you what happened. Because what happened was that I cheated. No, I, I cheated. Like, okay, we got our blue here. And, and we got our dark blue here. We put the original color of the jacket is here. Now, originally, when I first got it, you know, rinsed it and everything, there was blue there. So this didn't get all the way. So I figured, you know what? I can do a little dabs of bleach. Fade it down to this color here. I did the same thing back here, you know. I, right here, I can just do a little dabs and fade it down. Well, that didn't happen. So instead, I got uh, kind of like, I think they're kind of obvious that those are bleach spots. <laughs> so I said, okay, what can I do with it? And so I ain't got this red dye here. Now, what, I'm gonna, what I did was I also made a spray bottle. Now, I don't have any fancy mathematical equations of water to die. I threw some vinegar in here, threw some hot water in here, threw some dye in here, and I'm kind of going to spray it around here to see whatever the fuck I can create. I have no science. This is like mad scientists on some denim shit. I don't, you know, I don't know what the fuck, whatever. I kind of, this is like improv, you know. You kind of just do it, you figure it out. But there's still, I mean, it ain't bad, but... What I'm hoping, I'll tell you what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that this here will kind of offset some of the orange in the stitching. And maybe you can kind of see everything connect that way. So we'll see. But all right, put on my gloves because if I know anything about dye, that shit, you do not want it on your hands. You don't want it on your good clothes. You want to be sure you got on rubber gloves and play clothes. And I don't mean the clothing line, play clothes. I mean like, you're for real, for real, play clothes. Like, the same clothes you do Play-Doh, slip and slide, and finger paints in. And then, like, you was gonna paint your grandma fence outside. You wear them clothes to fuck with some dye. Dye, fuck your shit up. So, putting on this glove, man. 
Am I putting this thing on the wrong? Oh, got it on backwards. That'll help. All right, this is taking too long to put on the glove, but nonetheless, it's taking way too long. If this was a rubber trying to get a girl, she'd be dried up, but that's another story. All right, here we go. First, I'm gonna wet the spots. Whoops, didn't mean to wet that part. I'm gonna wet it in here a little bit, rub that in. I'm gonna wet it in here a little bit. Rub that in. Rub it in a little bit in here too. I'm gonna put some in. I'm gonna put some everywhere. Shit, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? But I do know the parts you gonna do. You gotta wet. Shit gotta be wet for that data to really sink in. So, again, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. We just winging this shit. Again, some up here and shit. Whatever. So, here we go. Bring the pain. What the hell? The shit ain't coming out. Oh shit. Why ain't the shit working? Oh shit. Alright, so. What if I turn this mug around and it just blasted me in the eye? Oh, there we go. That goes something there. That goes something there. That goes something there. Let's do something here. Shit. Let's do something here. We got something there. We got some there. Let's do something like right here. Let me see. Maybe I better add me some more water to this shit. I want this shit to be right. I don't know how it's going to be with these darker ones, but I don't, you know, I don't know, but hey, whatever. Again, we all just figuring it out. All right, let's do some shit on the back. I'm basically putting it over these bleach spots. That's what I'm doing. I need some more water and shit. Alright, let's spray down here. Alright. That's good. Again, I don't know what the hell we gonna have when we finish. We have some bullshit. We may have some cool shit. You don't know. Okay, yeah, we let's turn it over. All right, I'm out of water, so we're just gonna randomly spray down here at the bottom of this. Whatever happens, happens. So, now, I'm going to let it dry, and I guess that's really it. I don't want to go too far. Then again, what's too far? You know what I'm saying? I don't really don't know what too far is, so maybe I just kind of make a little distance and do some. All right, I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Cause you know what, the cool thing about that, I can always, always, always come back and add some more to it. You know what, I didn't do nothing on the collar. You know how I leave the collar the way it is. The collar is cool. I just feel like maybe that spot right there, I ain't hit it hard enough. The two main spots I was concerned about, the bleach spots, didn't hit it hard enough. Alright, 
think that's hard. I will ask what y'all think, but if y'all respond, hell, I don't know. You can put it in the comment section if you think I should go for the widow. If you got any damn ideas. Because, again, I don't know what the hell I got here. Like I said, either it's some bullshit or some cool shit. You know, either it's I done made some good vintage or I can turn it into spinach. And I ain't made nothing but a damn mess. But, okay, this is the Urban Swag Master. <sighs> Let this dry. Come back and check on it. Holly with y'all. Peeps later. Peace.